Thank you. Um, Chancellor, um, I'm sure you would agree that challenge, given the challenges facing public finance, it's vital that all taxpayer-funded uh, support is targeted to reach those households generally struggling with a cost-of-living crisis. How many second homeowners will receive an £800 discount to their energy bills? Uh, I completely agree. It's right that we target uh, support That's where it's most... 772,000 households or £620 million. How many people own three homes and are therefore in line to get £1,200? So, sorry, are you carrying on? Do you want, do you want to finish? Or no, I no, I'm, I'm just wanting you to know how much money is going to people who some of us would think probably don't need that help. Yes, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. There will be some people who, who don't need the help. Uh, that is, uh, unfortunately, the consequence of having to do policy in practical terms. And I think we, we were talking previously about providing support on a more universal basis. So assuming you agree with that, uh, which, which you may not, and that's fair enough, in which case fine, but if you do agree that you need to provide support on a more universal basis, given the scale of the challenge, then you have to think, well, how best can we do that? There are so, 61,000 so people who own three properties who will benefit to the tune of £1,200. That's a £73 million taxpayer-funded windfall. How much will you help will you get with your energy bills? Actually, I'm donating mine to charity, so I made that clear a couple of weeks ago. So again, just to, to answer your question... that's very philanthropic, well, I'll, I'll, Ch Chancellor, but isn't it being philanthropic with other people's money? Uh, as Mrs Thatcher famously said, there is no such thing as government money. There's only taxpayer money. Yeah. Um, at a time when the total tax burden has risen to the highest level since the 1940s, is it really good use of taxpayer money for somebody on the Sunday Times rich list or indeed for any MP or government minister to be receiving second home support when others are choosing between eating and heating? 